Maybe let's talk about a little bit of the context, the larger sociopolitical context that this movie is landing in. How overt do you think are the parallels between the situation in the Middle East right now and then the sci-fi world that is happening in Dune that has been created, of course, long before this current conflict? Yeah, well, I mean, look, I think anytime we're watching a story about colonizers and their power plays oppressing this indigenous community in the desert that is then trying to rebel and fight back for their freedom. Mm. I mean, you have to, you, 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 you couldn't, you shouldn't be ignoring the parallels that has to the current conflict in the Middle East. But I think like, you know, it's interesting because you said like the, the, this current conflict, you know, like the Dune was written way before this current conflict, but the current conflict has this history going back at least a century, mm. which is part of Dune's DNA. Because, right. as I said, Dune is essentially a remake of Lawrence of Arabia, right? right. And Laura, you know, like that—that that is like that—that that is the influence here. That's where uh, the uh, the Hugh Herbert, uh, you know, took the Paul Atreides character from. If you look at Lawrence of Arabia, that is about this British soldier's role in the Arab revolt. It's about how the British kind of worked their way in and aligned themselves with the Arab revolt, revolt in, in Palestine and Sinai. Mm -hmm. And that's how they ended up taking control of that territory. So that history is very much part of what's the, the stage for the current conflict today. And so that history is in Dune's DNA. So whether the filmmakers are ready to address it or not, their movie is very, very relevant to 